What's up guys, Skits here bringing you another guide on the brand new OBS Studio. I'm going to show you how to hook up your Twitch alerts. What are your Twitch alerts? Anytime somebody follows or donates to your stream, it's going to play a custom GIF and a sound clip for your followers or for your viewers. So it's going to thank them and you're going to be able to do it immediately. It's going to look awesome guys, stay tuned. All right, real quick guys, if you're confused to what you're already seeing in my OBS studio, I have a video in the top right hand corner, how to quickly in under two minutes set up your webcam, a basic overlay and a basic game scene to get you started in streaming. So check that out in the top right hand corner if you're not here at this point already. So let's just jump into adding our Twitch alerts, right? So if we go to this website, I'm going to put it in the description below. So don't worry about copying it down. It's the OBS project. We're going to be downloading the browser plugin. This is going to allow us to put our Twitch alerts in OBS Studio. So after you download the browser plugin, I already did it here, it's going to put it in this giant zip folder. So here's my downloads. It's OBS browser. Here's the zip folder. What you're going to do after it's downloaded is right click it. You're going to unzip it. So whatever software you have, I have PZip, WinRAR, whatever you use to unzip your folders, it's easiest just to extract it here in a new folder. So as you can see here, it's unzipping the, this folder and it spits out our OBS plugins. Perfect. So all we have to do now is let's just put this over here to the side. We're going to go to our start menu, computer, C drive, program files, x86, and we're going to scroll down to OBS Studio. All we have to do now is just copy this, click it, drag it over here, and paste it. I already have it in here, so I'm just going to replace it. Let's hit yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, sure. We'll just do this uh, since I already have all these files in here. And that's it, guys. So we're going to exit out of this, exit out of this, get out of everything. We'll just minimize this. And now, if we go... Let's exit out of OBS real quick. And if we open OBS Studio back up and click on the plus button, as you can see, awesome. Our browser source is now inside of OBS Studio. All right, guys, the hard part is over. The only thing we have to do now is just simply add our Twitch alerts into the browser source. So if we go to twitchalerts.com, again, don't worry about this. I'll put this in the description below, the link to the site. You're going to launch Twitch alerts. It's going to link your actual Twitch with the website and then your stream widgets under alert box. Here we are. This is what we're going to copy and paste into the browser source but let's just show you what the follower alert and the donation alert you can customize these any way you want text um, a custom gif and a custom sound if you want to but don't worry twitch alerts has their own stock set of both to just get you off the ground and running so once you customize your follower alert and your donation alert just simply copy this and then we're going to paste it right here so we're going to add our browser source let's just name it twitch alerts and hit enter and then our url we're just going to paste what we just copied from the actual twitch alerts website we hit okay and as you can see now this is the box that will show you where the alerts will pop up so all we have to do to test them is just go back to the website we'll click on test follower alert and as you can see it thanks and the follower alert works perfect and then we'll go to the donation alert just to make sure that works and we'll test that